The left is waging a war on Christianity, and they're ramping up their assaults on Christians in the public sphere. You don't have to take my word for it. You can see it for yourself. CNN's John King asked on his show this week if Second Lady Karen Pence should be allowed to practice her Christian religion since her Secret Service protection is paid for by all taxpayers, including non-Christians. Watch. Does it matter that all taxpayers pay for her housing? All taxpayers pay for Secret Service protection? She, you know, it's not her fault that she needs protection. This is the world we live in. But all taxpayers pay for, subsidize her life. So what was he suggesting? That the only government officials, including the wives of elected officials, have to ditch their religious beliefs if they want to serve in office? That was actually the second line of attack on Mrs. Pence after she announced that she will be teaching elementary school art at a Christian school that believes marriage is between one man and one woman. The left said, bigot, homophobe, hater. That's what led to King's comments. By the way, Nancy Pelosi also belongs to a church that believes marriage is between one man and one woman, a church that teaches homosexual activity is immoral. It's traditional Christian belief, but the left is trying to shame and bully Christians into ditching our religion. The radical left has also targeted Catholic nuns this year, the Little Sisters of the Poor. A federal judge appointed by Obama is trying to force these religious sisters to pay for contraceptives and abortifacients that violate their religious beliefs. Catholic nuns. Democratic Senator Kamala Harris and Democratic Senator Maisie Hirono attacked one of President Trump's judicial nominees for being part of the Catholic volunteer group Knights of Columbus because the Knights of Columbus believe abortion kills an innocent life, which is what the Catholic Church teaches. Hirono even asked the judge if he would leave the group if he became a judge. Essentially, she wants him to abandon the practice of his beliefs so that he wouldn't appear biased. So let me get this straight. If you're Catholic and believe life begins at conception, you can't be a federal judge. This is not the first time Democrats have attacked judicial or governmental nominees over their Christian beliefs. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein and Democratic Senator Dick Durman attacked Judge Amy Coney Barrett during her confirmation hearings because she's a practicing Catholic, saying, quote, the dogma lives loudly in her. Well, so what? What's your point? Are you suggesting that she's not qualified because of her religious beliefs? I hate to break it to Democrats, but that is unconstitutional. Article 6, Clause 3 of the United States Constitution says, No religious test shall ever be required as a qualification to any office or public trust under the United States. Somebody should show that clause to Senator Bernie Sanders, who suggested evangelical Rush Russell Vaught during his confirmation hearings was unqualified to serve in the Office of Management and Budget because of his belief in the gospel. What do Democrats want? Do they want Christianity to be a disqualifier? Sorry, you go to church, that means you can't serve in government. Thank God for the Constitution. That's not all. Remember Jack Phillips, the cake baker from Colorado, who declined to custom design a cake for a gay wedding since gay marriage is against his religious beliefs? The Colorado Civil Rights Commission, who first fined Phillips, said they didn't think his religious beliefs were sincere. The Civil Rights Commission, and yes, the name is super ironic, called Phillips' religious beliefs rhetorical. Who died and left the government to judge that? Can you imagine if we were only allowed to practice our religious beliefs in the public sphere if a group of anti-Christian government bureaucrats deemed our faith sincere? Well, the Supreme Court ruled in Phillips' favor and said his religious freedom was violated, but the left didn't give up. They're suing Phillips again because they want to force him to bake a transgender transition cake, blue on the outside, pink on the inside, even though they know that violates his religious beliefs. They want the government to force him to violate his religion. You can see it for yourself. Democrats are trying to eradicate Christianity from the public sphere. If they can't do it legally, they will do it by bullying, shaming, and trying to socially ostracize Christians. They will use the courts to try to force Christians to abandon their beliefs or risk breaking the law. And they will put judicial nominees to attest the US Constitution says is illegal. And that is my final point.